right, so this is a pretty straightforward exponentials and logarithms question. Give it a go yourself first, see how far you can get. If you get stuck on any parts, then you can look through the video uh, for hints. In the beginning of each part, A, B, and C, I'll give some hints. And then if you, if you finish the whole thing, then you can skip through ahead in the video and see what my working is to check your answer. So the owners of a nature reserve decided to increase the area of the reserve covered by trees. Tree planting started on the 1st of January 2005. Uh, so let's just underline that. And then the area of the nature reserve covered by trees is given by this. C is a constant. T is the number of years after this amount of time. So the question is asking us to find the area of the nature reserve that's covered by trees just before tree planting started. So for this question, you want to think about just before tree planting started, what would the what would the time be? And once you have a value for time, you can put it into this equation to then work out what area would be. So t would be equal to zero. And if we put this into our area equation, we end up with area is equal to 80 minus 45 e to the power of zero. e to the power of zero is one. So this then just becomes 35. And that's the answer to part a, unit kilometers squared. So that's pretty straightforward. Part B, we're given a date. We're told an area of this, of the nature reserve is covered by trees. And then we want to use that information to find a complete equation for the model, giving our value of C to three sig figs. So we already have an equation for the model. Area is equal to 80 minus 45 e to the power of CT. It's incomplete because we don't know what C is. That's what we're trying to work out in this question. As it says, give your value of c to three sig figs, and we have to use this information to do so. So we want to try and convert these two things into numbers that we can put into this equation and then rearrange for c. So the area would be 60. That's pretty straightforward. It has the same units as what a is told to be in. So therefore, we don't need to do any conversion there. Sometimes you do. In this case, not. And then for the time, we know that it's the 1st of January 2019, and then we're told that the we're told that t is a number of years after the 1st of January 2005. So take away the two years, we get 14. So t is 14. We can then put that into our equation. So our equation would then be 60 is equal to 80 minus 45 e to the power of 14c. So if you hadn't already got this equation, try rearranging it for C, and then you'll have your answer. So first thing, bring the 45 e to the power of 14c to the left side, bring the 60 to the right, take, take it away, we end up with the right side being 20. And then divide both sides by 45, e to the 14c is equal to 20 over 45, that's the same thing as 4 over 9. And then do natural logs of both sides. So this then will become ln of e to the power of 14c is equal to ln of 4 over 9. Ln and e are inverse operations, so they cancel out. And the left-hand side then becomes 14c, and the right-hand side becomes ln of 4 over 9. Divide by 14, and we get c is equal to ln of 4 over 9 all over 14, and that will be minus 0 0.0579 when you type that into your calculator. So now we have what C is, we can put that into our equation for area, and we end up with area is 80 minus 45 e to the power of minus 0 0.0579 t. So on to part C. So we are told on the 1st of January 2020, the owners of a nature reserve announced a long-term plan to have 100 kilometers squared of the nature reserve covered by trees. State a reason why the model is not appropriate for this plan. So for this question, the 2020 actually makes no difference because whether we started in 2020 or whether we started in 2010, long-term plan means the same thing in terms of T. So you want to think about what does that mean for T? What does a long-term plan mean for T? And with that condition for t, can we get an area of 100 kilometers squared? 
So long-term plan basically means that t is getting bigger and bigger, so it's approaching infinity. We know the equation for area. We have worked it out in the previous part. So with this equation here, we want to think about as t gets bigger and bigger, what does our area approach? So if you hadn't worked that out, uh, try and do it now. So how you would work this out is in your calculator, you will start with a value of t. Let's just say you put in t is equal to 1. And then you let t get bigger and bigger and bigger. Put in t is 10, then 100, 1,000, and so on. And see what a approaches. And you'll find that a approaches 80. But let's think about why exactly this is the case. This is enough for, our, for the question. If we just say that as t gets bigger, a approaches 80 and can't approach 100, that would be enough. Um, but if we wanted to think about fundamentally what exactly is happening in this equation, the first thing to look at is the exponential part. So e to the minus 0.0579t. If we think about a, an equation y is equal to e to the power of minus x, because that's similar to what we have here. The difference is there's no number. There's no 0 0.0579. That number only stretches the graph horizontally. It doesn't really change the shape that much, or not in a way which will affect the logic that we're about to follow. It would be a horizontal stretch. It wouldn't change the y-intercept. It wouldn't change the asymptotes. This graph, y is equal to e to the power of minus x, looks like this. It's a, a normal e to the x graph that's been reflected in the y-axis. So this coordinate is still 0, 1. The asymptote is still the x-axis. And as we can see from this equation, as x approaches infinity, the y-coordinate approaches uh, 0. Or in other words, e to the minus x approaches 0. So then we can see from our equation above, this one here, that as t approaches infinity, the e to the minus 0.0579t approaches 0, and therefore the area will approach 80 minus 45 times 0, or it will, in other words, approach 80.